What's up, everybody? Alex here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, it's it's been a minute, but uh, what you know better way to address the creative sort of roadblock that all of us face than a contest or a thread? Because the work's done for us. We just have to respond to it, and that's what I'm doing. And hopefully, this will get me back in the groove of cranking out some amazing quality content for the millions of people out there that watch. Um, so this is a leap year celebration. By the time I'm filming this and posting it, it's like a week after leap day, leap year, February 29th. My birthday is March 1st. So I used to tell people I was born on a leap day, February 29th. It was, it's a lie. I just lie to them, but uh, they wouldn't question it usually. So it's fine. But um, this is for Chris over at Rec Chris from Record Talk. That's Record. Um, I'll link him below all kinds of stuff. He is celebrating three years making content um, and also sort of did this contest that's going on for the next, uh, I don't know, month or so about leap years and sort of like musical history and leap years. So I pulled a few things, but here are the contest requirements just so if you're out there and you didn't post yet, something to think about. Um, it's show three records from three different leap years. Um, but then you get a bonus entry by showing a song that was number one on some chart during uh, during February 29th at some point during some year. And then you get another bonus entry by showing a record that was released on February 29th. So I think I checked all of them going for all the entries. I need the Amazon gift card, man. I got I got needs, all the different things. So, yeah, let, let's take a little walk down some very uh, odd but fun Alex musical taste stuff. So I'll, I'll get the song, uh, one of the songs out of the way first. Um, I don't, I, I've showed this before. I don't have a ton of 45s, but I do have some fun ones. But in 1964, on February 29th, the number one song in the country here in the States was I Want to Hold Your Hand, of course, by Zay Beatles. Uh, again, 1964, I Want to Hold Your Hand. This was number one. They pretty much owned the charts uh, most of that year with various uh, songs. But yeah, this is it. This was number one back in uh, 1964 on February 29th. Uh, so that's one of the songs. Um, let's go to another song that was number one, February 29th, but this time in 1972. And it's the great uh, Nelson's, uh, Nelson's version of Without You, originally done by Badfinger. So Badfinger had recorded this for their record, No Dice, two years earlier. A year or two later, Nilsson does it for this great record, Nilsson Schmilson. Uh, and it completely blows up. It was much more you know, well-known and famous than the original Badfinger version. Even the Badfinger writers went out and said, man, that's like the definitive version. That's the version we wish we would have done. Absolutely killed it. But 1972, February 29th, Without You, written by Badfinger as done by Nilsson here was the number one song um, during that year. So I guess that's the two songs. Let's show uh, some other records and things. Um, okay, well, this is kind of a check the box on both of them. In 1980 on the Billboard charts, the number one song in 1980 was Crazy Little Thing Called Love by Queen off of this record. So the game, uh, hype sticker and all for the hype sticker people out there was released in 1980 and Crazy Little Thing Called Love, which closes out side A, was that song. So I guess that kind of checks both. 1980, this record comes out and in 1980, that song was number one. Um, how about we go to some records that were actually released on a leap year? Uh, or I'm sorry, records that were released on February 29th on a leap day of a leap year. So this was uh, originally came out for Record Store Day a few years ago. And then I think Acoustic Sounds and all our productions did some versions of it. But when this was released, this was kind of a hot item. It's the comeback record, uh, of course, from Steely Dan. This is Two Against Nature. So this came out on February 29th in the year 2000. Won like four Grammys. Um... I don't love this, but it's it sounds like Steely Dan. I mean, it's it's Steely Dan 20 years after the fact or whatever. So, yeah, this was released on February 29th uh, in the year 2000. And then here's another record that was released. Um, also, I guess this was 1980, but was released February 29th. And that is, I think this is the sixth record from, at this point, pretty big AOR band. But at the same time, they still had Greg Raleigh involved. And that's Departure from Journey. Yeah, at this point, Steve Perry's kind of taking the helm. I think this was the last record that Greg Rowley was on. Um, so he still does some of the vocals. But at this point, you know, they're sort of making their moves into, 
you know, what they would blow up to be. And so um, I think this kicks off with Any Way You Want It, which was just such a huge hit and still is a staple on FM radio or other sort of classic rock stations all the time. But this was released on February 29th, 1980. And then last, I'll show a record, one last record from Malik Year. This record actually came out this year, so I'm showing a record from 2024. And it's just been spending a lot of time on the turntable uh and it's from one of my favorite labels and that's the latest from the ghost funk orchestra on karma chief and this is a trip to the moon yeah i mean jazz funk space odyssey is exactly right i love ghost funk orchestra i love everything they've done this is probably like their fourth or fifth record maybe at this point um of course on karma chief which is a subsidiary i guess or a sister label to coal mine records um, but this came out just several weeks ago and has just been blowing my mind. So yeah, that's my show for 2024, which of course is a leap year. So there we go. There you have it. Um, Chris, congratulations, man. Three years. That's such a big uh, accomplishment. Amazing. And, uh, hope you liked this, uh, entry. Hope I met all the requirements and everybody run over there. If you haven't already, Chris has got a great channel. Uh, I've been subscribed to him since the very beginning and, uh, it's just awesome. So thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, drink PBR if you so choose, and uh, cheers. We'll see you next time. Bye.